Houston, we have ignition. Stand by. Five, four, three, two, one. Houston, we have liftoff. <laughs> Would you look at that? There is the perfect way to enjoy your morning tea and to learn a little science at the same time about convection currents. Now, you're going to need a bag of tea for this uh, and some adult supervision. And if you can't find an adult, ask your wife. All right, here's what you need to do. Uh, you're gonna need the, the, the bags of tea like this. Now, not all tea bags are the same, so you're gonna wanna find one that looks like this. So we're gonna dissect it by cutting it like this all the way across and then dumping out the tea. We just want this very, very uh, thin, almost membrane left over, all right? So when we burn this, you can see all that was left over was carbon, right? So we're setting up a convection current inside the tube. And so notice how we do this. You just make the little tube like this, and we set the tube down here and hopefully get it to stand up. All right, so when we light this, now the molecules that are inside that, uh, that tube are gonna be warmer than the molecules on the outside. That means they're gonna be moving a little bit faster. It's gonna set up a convection current, meaning the air is gonna come down, work its way up, and the only thing that will be left over is that carbon. So that's what's gonna give that carbon some lift, and we should have the uh, little rocket that's there. All right, let's see if it works. Ready? So we light it like this. So again, on the inside, those molecules are a little bit warmer. It'll give it some lift off, and it looks like it lifts, and there it goes, and <laughs> da -dum, and it is back. Look at this, and back down again. You thought you were gonna grab it, didn't you? I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your Breakfast Science Minute.